Hello, my name is Joanne James and welcome to the Crafty Owls tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this envelope gift card using Stamping App's new envelope punch board. It is um, an envelope with a difference. So instead of actually sticking down the flaps, this time you're going to leave the flaps open, create a clasp on the front so that when you open it, you can have your greeting on the inside. I made these for my customers, lots of whom have purchased envelope punch boards and I wanted to be able to give them an idea of something that they could do with it. So I'll just show you how we make it. It's very simple and straightforward. You need to take your envelope punch board, a piece of designer paper of your choice. I'm using some retired Sycamore Street designer series paper. Um, I, the size of my insert here is three by four inches. And so the paper size that's required, if I look at my chart here, is six by six inches. And I've pre-cut this to size. So all I need to do is mindful that the score line is two and five eighths, put my paper in to two and five eighths, which is just there, punch and score and do that on all four sides. So all remaining scores measured up to the score line rather than uh, across the top. Rotate again, measuring up the score line with the little uh, notch on the marker. Rotate, align the score line, punch and score. And then that's your envelope piece made around the corners by using the reverse punch on the other side and then we can put our scoreboard to one side clear away the excess and we just need to fold our sides in ready so there we go and then to create our insert we simply need to take a piece of three by four white card the stamp that i'm actually going to use is this one called awesome thanks and it's from this set the yippy skippy set i'm going to ink the stamp up with my marker pens in tangerine tango and island indigo because i wanted it to be a sort of two-toned effect so i'm just going to pop that across the top there and same with the island indigo across the bottom going to breathe on that to moisten it up and then position and stamp and then there you go that's my sentiment stamped all I need to do now is take my snail adhesive put a little dab on the back and then that's ready to put into my card so literally just line it up on the inside of the base stick it down and there you have it so the last thing to do is actually to create this clasp here so we're going to take some island indigo cardstock and the itty bitty punch circle punch create cut out two circles and then we're just going to take our piercing mat and we're going to place one of these circles on the top of our envelope we're going to take some mini brads and just attach those two together and then you're going to do exactly the same on the other side so once you've made sure this one goes towards the bottom of the envelope because obviously they're going to wind around each other PS take another mini brad just pop that into the hole like so and there we go that's your card uh, made then lastly you just need to take a piece of island indigo twine about 25 centimeters twine it around the two little almost buttons that you've just made like so in a figure of eight and then make a small bow this just holds your envelope card closed. And there you go. As easy as, as that, all done. One envelope card. I hope you liked this new project. Please come back next time for more inspiration from the Crafty Owl. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.